Hey, what's up, you guys? It's Caboose XBL bringing you another Batman Telltale video. That's right, we're going to be talking about the Telltale series Batman game. As for those of you who don't know, Telltale is indeed working on a Batman game. A little teaser trailer for it is already out and about. And what we're going to be talking about today is a bunch of brand new details that were just released for the game, as well as a couple of screenshots that were released that you're going to be seeing throughout this video there's also a list of all the voice actors that are going to be playing some of the specific characters in the game we also got some information about when this game is going to take place within the batman mythos and this just all sounds so interesting so for those of you who don't know who telltale is you'll probably recognize them most for the guys responsible for the fantastic walking dead game now i've never played the game myself Fully, I've played the first episode, and uh, I just never really got around to playing the rest of them. But that first episode was incredible, and I have watched some like playthroughs and stuff online, and uh, it's pretty deep. You know, it, it really hits you to your heart. These guys know storytelling, and that's what these games are. They're not really essentially like these crazy action-packed games. They're almost like movies, like a dramatic movie played out. You know, they're gonna have a little action scene here and there, but it's a lot more of this kind of dramatic slow burn. It's a lot of character development. And the main thing, the main staple of these Telltale games is the choices you make. Every now and then, you'll come across some dialogue or a choice or a decision that you have to make in the game. And that decision that you make has a complete effect on the future of the game and where your path goes and that is what's most interesting about the telltale games and it seems like that is going to return in this batman telltale series so let's just get right into what's going on some of the new revealed information as well as some of these pictures that you're seeing on screen here uh we're gonna get into that so here's what i am reading on the game informer article which is i believe where all this stuff was revealed so what we do know right off the bat is that Troy Baker is going to be the one voicing none other than Batman in the Telltale Batman series. So glad he's not doing the Joker. Um, Travis Willingham is going to step into the role of Harvey Dent and not Two-Face, just to get that clarified. Uh, we're also going to get Laura Bailey, who will be playing the character of Catwoman, who is in one of the photos that you're going to be seeing on screen. We also got... Aaron Yvette, who will be voicing none other than Vicky Vale. We got Richard McGonagall, Mc Richard McGonagall, who voices Victor Sullivan Sully, and he is going to be stepping into the shoes of Carmine Falcone. So I am so happy with that casting. I love Sully. He is such a real character in the Uncharted series, and that voice actor is a complete testament to how real that character feels. So I can't wait to see what he does with Carmine Falcone. We also got N. Rydell and uh, Murphy Geyer who are going to be joining the cast as Alfred Pennyworth and Lieutenant James Gordon. So it's easy to assume how far in the past of Batman's career that this takes place as Gordon is not commissioner just yet. So it seems like Telltale's Batman series is going to take place a lot earlier on within Batman's career, which makes sense, you know? Rather than being knee-deep in Batman's career, where pretty much 90% of the time he's Batman, we are going to start off in the early days of his career where he's still a businessman, he's still got the Bruce Wayne persona in the forefront. So we're going to get a lot of that Bruce Wayne persona and a lot of that interaction with the characters like Carmine Falcone, Harvey Dent, Selina Kyle, and it's going to be really freaking interesting. Like I said, these guys working at Telltale, they know serious, true storytelling. So if they carry that over with this Batman Telltale game, it's going to be fantastic. And from these images that you're seeing on screen, I am so excited, especially the one of Catwoman and Batman. Oh my goodness, just looking at it, the design is perfect. Now, there's one thing about the Telltale games that I always love, and that's the way the graphics look. They're not these completely seriously high-res graphics, but what it essentially is, is 3D comic books. You know, you, you get that similar art style that you'll see in a comic book, 
but put in three dimensions, but put, you know, with these actual character designs, these moving characters that you can see on screen. And that's what it looks like with this Batman Telltale game. Everything looks like it's ripped off a comic book page, but of course, you know, these are 3D models, and I love that design. It looks phenomenal. This has seriously jumped so high on my most anticipated list, and I believe the first episode for Batman Telltale series is going to be releasing this summer you can definitely expect some videos on that come the time of this game's release it seems like there's going to be more news for the game with e3 just around the corner i think it actually started today so there's going to be some more news for this game and if the news is substantial enough or it interests me enough i'm definitely going to be covering it so you can subscribe for that if you haven't already with all that said let me know your thoughts on the telltale batman series all the images all the news and everything that's come out so far for the game in the comments section below. I'm Caboose XBL. Please follow me on Instagram and Twitter and like me on Facebook. Those links are in the description. Drop a like if you enjoyed. Leave a comment if you have an opinion. And subscribe if you're new. See you guys later.